Hey viewers, are you having hard times? Are you facing difficulties in your life? Then you need to do something about it. We have got a solution for you. Get your soul reading for free. Yes, for free. Just click the link in the description below and get your soul manifested. Just add some simple information and get your soul reading for free. You have to follow three simple steps. Just enter your name, the month, the day and year you were born. And we will let you know not just the main problem you are going through, but the best solution as well. So what are you waiting for? Just slide down a bit to get your soul manifested. Dear Pisces, this is your prediction for the upcoming year when it comes to your career and your financial situation. I'm happy to say that this is a very exciting time for you that you can absolutely look forward to. Um, I would like to mention that when we're looking at the future using the tarot, uh, the most sound and healthy way to um, integrate this future is to consider that we're looking at energies that are outside of your control, that's true. Uh, the purpose is to become prepared as best as possible for what's coming and is outside of your control. But also there are things that are in your control and that's another aspect. So. Taking into account your past lessons, your past actions, your um, the work that you've been putting in, everything that you've learned uh, is going to help you shape the future that you desire. So take all these factors into account and take your own accountability. So with this being said, let's move to the reading. So. I've pulled some cards for you and the general energy for your um, career and financial situation this year <clears throat> is the three of cups. So this is all about connection. It's all about bringing that um, friendly, that celebratory, that uh, emotional aspect in your career and financial life. It's no secret that in general Pisces people um, are very passionate about um, their sense of mission. So whatever it is that you're doing professionally, it probably has a very big component of um, emotional engagement. So you feel that is something important to you. What you're doing is a love project. Also, um, this year is going to be very important for you to feel like you are relating to the people that you're working with. So your co-workers, if that's the case, your clients, uh, your work friends, there's going to be an atmosphere of um, sharing the same passions, enjoying each other's company. And this is going to be more than just going to work because I have to live. It's going to be going to work because I feel appreciated. I appreciate these people. We're friends, we support each other, we're doing something that means something to other people. So overall, this is great. And it's also a moment to celebrate the good work that you've been putting in uh, prior to this year. Uh, so again, your focus is not going to be directly on the achievements or on the financial aspect. It's going to be on celebrating the whole context, the whole package of the situation. Just slide down a bit to get your soul manifested. Uh, with this being said, this kind of a mixed bag of big life lessons of uh, using your mind, using your communication skills, using your intuition to navigate situations. Uh, there are things that you can influence and there are things that you just have to prepare for. So, um, in the beginning, things are going to be a bit confusing, right? So, you want to create that sense of 
Um, I'm absolutely happy and excited with what it is, what's going on in my life, in my professional life. I feel accomplished. So you're doing that honestly. The part of the process in the beginning is to uh, go through a phase of um, confusion, maybe a word for it, but it's not necessarily confusion as much as lack of clarity. This isn't the kind of lack of clarity you get because you've been, um, you know, putting in confusing energy yourself. It's the lack of clarity that comes from having done the good work and evolving to a different stage where things are kind of new to you and you don't know exactly how to position yourself, what to feel about the things that are going on. This is about opportunities and these opportunities usually come from other people, from your social circle, your connections. It might be that um, some of you will um, receive invitations from people that you care about, friends, acquaintances, people that are you're personally engaged with, to start making money together, to start creating projects, to, uh, you know, you're going to get a lot of these different offers. Some of them are going to sound very good. Some of them are going to leave you thinking, should I actually venture on this territory? What will the consequences be for my career and also for my uh, personal relationship with these people? The good news with this is that, as I said, it's actually part of you growing up. These are opportunities. Uh, don't fall prey to uh, that pressure and anxiety to know everything from the beginning. It's okay to have uncertainties. It's okay to um, not know everything that is going on. So what you can do about this is simply, um, you know, walk with caution. Allow situations and people to show their true colors to you. Um, don't promise anything that you're not certain about. Give yourself time to tap into your intuition, but also to see what's unfolding in the physical world. We hope you will be liking the reading so far. If yes, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Um, you've got also the Sun card for your uh, career financial reading for this year, which is absolutely the best thing that you can get. What I intuitively get from this is that um, you're going to become a lot more clear what your mission is for this part of your life. You've always known that you have a mission, that it's not just about putting in the day-to-day -day work and, you know, surviving. To you, it's more about having the sense of things colliding, so that inner part that feels uh, fulfilled by the work that you're doing, but also uh, having a sense of growth, having a sense of security in your practical ventures, uh, having that financial um, component that is responding to the work that you're putting in. So you're going to see how these things come together for you. Also, this is great news because um, you feel happy, you feel joyful, you feel excited without being, let's say, blind to uh, the downfalls or to the challenges. You can see them, but you have a great attitude, so you feel joyful, you feel capable of overcoming everything. So it's not that the obstacles don't exist anymore, it's more that you have a different attitude to them. So from this energy, of course, life responds differently. This can be about uncovering ways to make a passion project come true for uh, the greater good, for the, the greater good of your social circle and for the greater good of many other people. So this is going to be like a definite insight. Finally, all of these things make sense together. This is great. It means great opportunities all around. It means happiness. It means fulfillment. And of course, it means great luck when it comes to your finance as well. 
Um, so take this into account and use the blessings that you get wisely. Which is not going to be a problem because you're actually very well um, connected to your rational mind as well. You've been working on becoming a good negotiator, on uh, having a clear vision rationally of how you can turn your gifts and your skills and your energy into a practical project. So this can be about I have this vision of something that is going to improve community and it's going to improve my life. But I also have, let's say, the marketing tools to make this into a real plan. You, you've got that. You can also have uh, the rational conversations that need to take place. So you can tell people, okay, I see where you're coming from, but your actions and the way you communicate, the way you work, your uh, style needs to improve if you need to work together. People will come to you this year to um, get a fair and objective opinion, right? So you're not going to cuddle anyone or hide the truth for the sake of their feelings or your own. Um, you're going to be that person who can actually tell people what they need to hear personally and professionally, but do it in a way that is going to be respected. So you're going to be a very good negotiator, probably going to have a lot of people reach out to you to solve conflict you're going to be in situations that are going to show you how much you've improved these skills also um this can make you be let's say not feared but also give you an intimidating uh, vibe if you will people are going to be intimidated by the way that you communicate and by the way that you um, use your mind. This is going to be a great way for you to filter your um, collaborations and your uh, work environment. So people who are going to be able to stand in front of you and have the conversations and hear the truth and respond in a similar manner are going to be those who you want to keep by your side. And those who are, let's say, unable to deal with this and respond from the same energy are probably the people that you're gonna have to um let's say um be mindful of we hope you will be liking the reading so far if yes make sure to hit the like and subscribe button another interesting and amazing thing this year is going to be that you're going to be faced with a very important decision that has to do with your professional and career and financial life. This decision is going to impact and challenge all layers of your uh, personality. So this has a spiritual component in the sense that um, you finally understand what it is that you're here to do and why you have the gifts that you have and how this can be translated into a practical approach. So this is, there's a spiritual component to that. There's a calling, there's a meaning. But this following this is going to require for you to make certain changes in your life. So you're going to have to, uh, let's say, transform yourself. You know, choose a certain path in all areas of your life. This can also be about um, having your love life and your professional life collide in a sense. Maybe if you're already in a committed relationship or you're married and you've had these conversations with your partner about doing something, starting a business, starting a project that's meaningful for both of you, you're finally going to understand how you can come together to create that and make your personal life and your professional life uh, coexist for the greater good. Or this can mean that you're going to have an interesting encounter through the energies that I've mentioned with your professional life that can turn into a romantic, into a personal thing. Be mindful of that. Um, of course, this isn't necessarily uh, an easy thing to handle, 
but it's also something that um, you've been preparing to do properly so just use as i said your practical mind uh be upfront with your communication be upfront with the vision be upfront with the values um don't rush into promising more than you can promise don't let people promise more than they can promise follow the joy the excitement the clarity follow let's say what your heart tells you is the right thing to do um, but also let's say keep your head on your shoulders this also can mean that through your work through your career through what it is that you're doing professionally this year you are going to meet people that you can consider a soulmate so you're going to feel very deep connections to people they don't have to turn into something romantic they can just be the kind of connections where you feel where have you been all of my life we think alike we're so complimentary we do these things together i'm learning so much from you i feel understood and valued so i feel like these are things that you've been working towards aspiring towards uh, these are things that you probably dreamt of for your entire life so Honestly, I feel like this is going to be a very exciting, very um, rewarding, very happy year for you professionally and financially. Um, as the last mention, uh, I feel like finance is not going to be the main focus. It's not going to be something that you need to worry about. Whatever you need is going to, let's say, fall in your lap so if you're following the joy that excitement that sense of mission if you're um, mindful and rational and honest with your resources then everything that you need to be safe and to have your projects and your business grow are going to be given to you from sources that are going to seem unlikely in the beginning so all you need to do is to prepare for that properly and when you get the help when you get um the resources the finances that you've been looking for don't be impulsive in um your purchases don't be impulsive in spending that money take the time to have a clear plan in mind so this is part of that choice that spiritual choice that i've mentioned it's going to be seductive for you to um do nice things for yourself or kind of like go with your gut go with your impulse that's not the way to go about it keep your plans and your goals and your desires in mind but also make sure that you have a very reasonable business plan and you have in mind all your expenses or all your um Get your soul reading for free. Yes, for free. Just click the link in the description below and get your soul manifested. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And yeah, please ring the bell icon as well. For any queries, use the comment section. We will join you soon with another interesting reading. Till then, take care and goodbye.